धूमे नाव्रियते वह निर् यथा दर्शो मले न यथोलो गर्भस् तथा ते ने दमावृतम the previous verse explained that we are all subject to this self destructive desire and it can be deadly in fact and we are in a state of perpetual warfare so it's telling okay so everyone is vulnerable that was the theme of the everyone is not just vulnerable everyone is under attack So that was the point of enemy in this world. But now the next verse is talking about how is everyone under attack. The key is that this enemy, inner enemy that is there, karma, desire that is rages against boundaries, that it covers our. It works primarily by covering, covering our. what it covers krishna will tell in the next verse but it specifically it covers our knowledge and this verse gives three examples of how that covering is there so one is just as say fire is covered by let's use the word covered cov by smoke that's one example the second example is that of a mirror covered by dust and the third is of a infant a child covered by the embryo so it's interesting these three examples what they are essentially saying is that there is a covering and that covering leads to in some ways it's it's limiting so now the commentators on the gita explain that this covering can be understood in various different ways but basically before we go into the commentaries this is we could say thin in the sense that we just uh, we just stoke the fire we just blow the move some air and the smoke will go away and the fire will blaze forth whereas here here it is thick or thicker at least you can see if there is a lot of dust on the mirror we may have to shake we may have to get a cloth to wipe out the mirror and wipe not wipe out the wipe the mirror and we have to remove the dust but the child in the embryo this is considered thickest the child in the embryo there is a particular amount of time till which the child is just not going to come out so it is the longevity uh, the length of the time it will take for the covering to be removed will be much more and the commentators explain that this refers to the fire and smoke metaphor refers to humans i put this as a table should maybe you have to read here from the right to the left because metaphor is there then there is the degree of covering and um you could say the species to which it is referring to or people who is it referring to so in humans the covering is like smoke covering a fire in animals it is more like a dust being covered by dust covering the mirror and in plants in trees it is an embryo covering a child so the degree of covering is much much greater in different in some species so now we may wonder what does this metaphor mean in terms of well, do animals or trees have lust to such a great degree do they have lust more than humans you may say where is exactly the lust in animals at, in trees at all that uh, when the trees 
when humans don't mean they may we make such plans and there is such a force by which they are attracted towards each other but tree is just live motionless and even when pollination happens the way they reproduce it like the wind carries the pollens and it just falls accidentally so normally we would not think of trees to be especially lusty to be driven by desire beyond boundaries but the point here is not so much now it's more in terms of the degree of the covering created by the desire so the point is that indulgence especially unrestricted indulgence where it leads to is a you could say a reinforced covering by lust it's like the more uh, alcoholic drinks then it's not only that their drinking becomes strong their craving for drinking becomes stronger but also it's like their inner alarms become weaker mm-hmm. the first time we may just steal some we may just take some money which we have saved for some future emergencies then we may then alcoholic may maybe it's not exactly stealing it's their own money but they're taking the money which has been saved for uh, emergencies but then that alcoholic may take money from maybe their parents or friends then that alcoholic may rob from a bank uh, from some shop and their alcoholic may even kill to kill someone it's not that all alcoholics will do like this but my point is when there is alcoholism there is a greater craving that happens as the alcoholism worsens but there is also a greater covering mm-hmm. covering in the sense of covering of consciousness covering of morality covering of awareness of the consequence of their actions and eventually the more a person indulges indulges the more the person becomes covered so krishna is talking that if somebody indulges in lust excessively when they are in human form when that person that soul will go into the next body where their consciousness will be highly covered which will be say a state like a state of trees now a person who is very alcoholic may be very active for some time and then they just just maybe faint and collapse or they just go to sleep and then they they are motionless almost like dead because of the extent of alcohol they are taking so like that in a person a soul who in a particular human body is indulge a lot will in future be in a state like a tree where there is practically no mobility so it's not so much the presence of the craving that krishna is talking about it is the so it's the presence of the covering that has resulted from indulging in the craving now these metaphors also signify that when this desire is there what can we do about it so in the human form it is relatively easier to deal with the desire just like smoke you just be expertly handle the smoke the fire will blaze forward so like that the covering due to such desires that is there that that covering can be removed if we just handle things wisely you know judiciously enough so smoke removing relatively it's easy at the same time some expertise is needed because sometimes we may just spread the smoke and trying to remove it also but it's possible to remove it now the second metaphor of mirror being covered by dust that metaphor is often used to talk about the process of purification so while we are in human bodies but often the cravings within us often if some somebody is having just uncivilized behavior that person was like an animal he sometimes used that phrase 
it's animalistic what that means is that person has no sense of decency no sense of boundaries no sense of propriety so we may be we may be in human bodies but we might have animalistic cravings so we all need to basically remove whatever is the covering on us and the dust in mirror dust on a mirror or dust the dust on a mirror that is a common example now if there is dust sometimes we cannot see the reflection uh, we may see only a part of the face we don't see other part or one part is clear one part is not clear and if there is too much dust then we may not even know that the mirror is there so if you consider degree of dust on a mirror hmm? so we may see our face easily unclearly there's dust then sometimes if say we if we are in a shower and then there's a mirror over there and we just use hot water that the smoke there then when the we look at the mirror that is that sm the smoke has um, condensed as some accumulation on the mirror and we can't see clearly we have to shake when we move it we see our face only clearly or some un unclearly sometimes we will see only part of our face i am only talking about the face the rest body or body also we might be looking at but let's focus on the face now sometimes we see nothing of our face and sometimes we may see not even the mirror because the, the dust might be so great that all that we see is dust you don't even notice that actually there is a mirror over there but it's covered by dust so so now this what is this referring to that when uh, when this craving covers us maybe there is dim self awareness so for example mm -hmm. somebody is an alcoholic but now they may have a family they may have children and they have responsibility towards their children so their identity as a parent just forget it there is only very dim awareness of that it just become no, i want to drink what if your children are going to starve use all the money for drinking they, they don't they forget also that okay i have children i have to care care for them so like that there is going to be dim self awareness and then it just goes down 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 there is practically no self awareness at all self awareness means that that i am a self and i am doing some actions and these actions have consequences to others they are consequences to myself that is not there this is where when there is no self awareness a person goes towards becoming a sociopath or a psychopath of course specifically these are people characterized by no conscience at all so when we say we don't even see the mirror now if we can't see a mirror then or we don't even know there's something called a mirror then there is no reference point to to even look at ourselves to know how we are looking so when a person has no conscience left that is like that person doesn't even have a sense that there is a sense of right or wrong that is that you no know, maybe there are some actions you are right some actions you are wrong but there is it's one thing to have no sense of right or wrong that's bad enough such person itself are scared are scary but what's even worse is there is no sense that there is there is a sense of right wrong you know whatever if such a person thinks that you know people who have a sense of right and wrong why are they not enjoying what's wrong with them they should just be enjoying so we can see this kind of thing in a result of the sexual revolution in the western world and increasingly in other parts of the world including india also where 
sexuality, the natural boundaries, for example, in the past of marriage. But when that was rejected, there was uh, all kind of unrestricted sexual indulgence. And there is sexual predation. There is, uh, there is, that is basically just a, a terrible degeneration that is going on. And now people just don't even understand why, why is there even a need for boundaries? So the only boundary is what, uh, what I'm unable to get. But if I can get it, then there's no, no need for any bond. If I have the money, if I have the looks, if I have the, if I have the wiles to get people uh, to submit to my desires, then there's no need for any boundaries. So this can lead to a very dark path for people. So that's the point of the coverings being there and the coverings being dangerous. So in this soul is uncovered. Or rather you can say you know, the soul is presently covered. You can play around with these words over here. The soul is covered. The soul needs to be uncovered. And when it's uncovered, then it will be recovered. <laughs> recovered means not covered again, but it's a, like we say recovery, a healing. So the covered soul needs to be uncovered and then it will be recovered. So it will be, we'll have a recovery of the soul. 